my own. I will hide it in my heart that it never may depart. It shall rule there alone. The love of God within the heart will kindly nest and warmth impart. The soul will glow like Jesus in his tender mercy. If the heart is made his dwelling place, the love of God flows like a flame. Through endless years, it is the same. The love of God will never fail nor lose its glory till we see him face to face. Since the Son of God came down with his love our lives to crown, he with us would remain. Greater love there could not be, Jesus died for you and me in our hearts. He would reign. The love of God within the heart will kindly nest and warmth impart. The soul will glow like Jesus in his tender mercy. If the heart is made his dwelling place, the love of God glows like a flame. Through endless years, it is the same. The love of God will never fail nor lose its glory till we see him face to face. While his love burns true and bright, we are walking in the light. He has shown us the road. We his glory must reflect, lest our dimness and neglect keep some soul from its God, the love of God within the heart will kindly nest and warmth impart. The soul will glow like Jesus in his tender mercy. If the heart is made his dwelling place, the love of God glows like a flame through endless years it is the same the love of God will never fail nor lose its glory till we see him face to face be seated please <clears throat> oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways, and step by step you'll lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways, and step by step you'll lead me, and I will follow you all of my days, and I will follow you all of my days, and I will follow you step you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days. 
number 19 will be our next song. After this song, John Bratton will lead us in an opening prayer. Number 19. Come thou almighty King, help us thy name to sing, help us to praise, Father Again, my words in the book are different than the slide there. O Lord our God, to Thee the highest praises be, in evermore Thy sovereign majesty may we in glory see, and to Love and adore. Your Father in heaven, uh, thank you for this time that you've given us to come together and uh, the worship service that we're getting to take part in. Uh, we ask that you be with us today during this time and, and make this uh, a pleasing service to you. God, we thank you uh, so much for the the weather, and I know we can tend to to think of it as a, an inconvenience sometimes that, that maybe we have to cancel plans because of the rain, but uh, we're so thankful for the rain uh, and, and what it's doing for the, the land here. Uh, God, we ask that you be with us. Uh, the, the classes that we have here, uh, be with Carol as he, as he, leads us in our service today be with the, the people who teach our classes uh, we pray for our our upcoming vbs lord and that uh that all of these things uh, will be uh, vessels to uh, further your your will here in in wheeler uh, and in texas and we ask that you uh, be with all of those who are on our our prayer list and people that are are sick, people who've lost loved ones, and uh, comfort them. God, we ask that you be with our our recent uh, graduates as, as they go out, and uh, please uh, help them to always look to you for guidance. Uh, we ask that you be with with people who are, who are not here today. We've got people traveling for summer and uh, keep them safe and, uh, and help them to, to come back. And we pray all these things, Father, in your son's name. Amen. Our invitation song, if you want to mark it, is going to be 837. 837 sing that after Carol's lesson. Before that lesson, we're going to sing Walking in Sunlight, number 611. And if it's convenient, let's stand for this song. 611. Walking in sunlight all of my journey over the mountains through the deep vale. Jesus has said I'll never forsake thee promise divine that never can fail heavenly sunlight heavenly sunlight flooding my soul with glory divine hallelujah i am rejoicing singing his praises jesus 
Jesus is mine. Shadows around me, shadows above me, never conceal my Savior and guide. He is the light, in him is no darkness. Ever I'm walking close to his side. Heavenly sunlight, heavenly sunlight, flooding my soul with glory divine. Alleluia, I am rejoicing, singing his praises, Jesus is mine. In the bright sunlight, ever rejoicing, pressing my way to mansions above singing his praises gladly i'm walking walking in sunlight sunlight of love heavenly sunlight heavenly sunlight flooding my soul with glory divine alleluia i am rejoicing singing his praises jesus is mine be seated please good morning church good morning i'm just wondering all these back over here you think you're going to get wind burned Jet blast, whatever. Got a couple of brave souls over here on this side. I know that uh, when my kids were at home and I was working full time, I always managed right after the kids got out of school, we went to the mountains. Sometimes we had to dig our, our gear out of the snow, but we always went because we thought it was so important. And it looks like others have followed and sued. And I hope they have a safe journey. One of the things that Will, uh, in his lesson that he read about, was the very fact that Jesus states in that passage in Luke 22, is that he says, I am anxious or looking forward to when we will be able to do the the Passover feast. One of the things that he did in that Passover feast is, is that he gave to us a memorial. A memorial that will live as long as mankind is upon the face of this earth. A memorial that will benefit mankind as long as we are upon this earth and follow in his teachings. In Acts chapter 2, in verse 42, is a, is a very quick little passage. It says, For they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the, and to the breaking of the bread and to prayer. So we see very early in the church that it was Part of the plan, it was embraced by the early church to take this very simple act, which was uh, <clears throat> in which we as Christians can partake of the unleavened bread, similar to what they did in the upper room, and we too can drink the fruit of the vine as they also did in the upper room. But one of the things that it is important that I think we should always remember is that we should undertake it in a manner, in a way that does not become meaningless to us, that it becomes displeasing to God, or it is detrimental to us and to our well-being. For example, if you want to turn over with me to 1 Corinthians,